Michael retiring from the NBA in 1993 just before the arrival of the Air Jordan 9 and just as the design process for the 10 was close to complete, Nike execs believed the Air Jordan line could not hold its weight if he wasn't on the court. They planned to end the series after the 10th model. Nike's fears forced Tinker Hatfield to work on the Air Jordan 11 project on his own, with the belief that MJ would someday return to the NBA. Tinker's original goal for the Air Jordan 11 was led by the idea of creating a rugged shoe that could withstand the force and strain that Michael put on his shoes night in and night out. It was also inspired by the look of a convertible car, with a glossy body and a traditional cloth top. Michael had been specifically asking for a shiny shoe for a while. Tinker began to experiment with durable materials, like Cordura nylon utilized on high-end backpacks at the time, and a patent leather, a material that had never been used on a basketball shoe. The shoe also incorporated a carbon fiber shank to give Michael more spring and support, similar to the rigid plates seen in many football shoes at the time. After playing the Air Jordan 10 during the first round of the 1995 NBA playoffs, Michael decided to first introduce the Air Jordan 11 to the world during the Bulls' second round series opener against the Orlando Magic. Then sideline reporter Ahmad Rashad, who considered Mike his main man, was the first to notice the shiny Air Jordan 11 and showcased the patent leather kicks on live television during a courtside segment with the entire world watching. Michael was fined for rocking the original black-white Air Jordan 11s on the court, as he didn't match the rest of the Bulls team's black base shoes. He'd wear them again for Game 2, which even more notably was the game that he ditched the number 45 jersey for good and returned to number 23. Looking to avoid any further fines, Michael actually laced up the Penny Hardaway's Black Flight 1 for Game 3 in the 1995 NBA Playoffs. For the rest of the series, Michael wore a black-white Air Jordan 11 that went on to be recognized as the Space Jam Edition, which he also wore in the Warner Brothers movie that was released later that year. The Air Jordan 11 went on to release originally in three colorways, accented by Dark Concord, True Red, and Columbia Blue. The arrival of the Instant Classic silhouette also included an Air Jordan 11 Low IE, which replaced the flashy patent leather overlays for elephant print mudguards and mesh insets for increased ventilation. After falling short in the 1995 playoffs, Michael wore the 11s for the entire 1995-1996 season, leading the Bulls to an NBA record 72-10 season and the first of three straight championships. The Air Jordan 11 was quickly becoming one of the most beloved sneakers of all time, and Mike's legacy as the greatest player of all time would soon be cemented. After quickly becoming the most recognized Air Jordan of all time, the Air Jordan 11 made its first return in the year 2000. The revival of the Air Jordan 11 throughout 2000 and 2001 included the long-awaited arrival of the Space Jam Edition, along with a new colorway that would go to cause riots at their release in the cool gray Air Jordan 11 retro. The Jordan brand would go on to also release patent leather-covered Air Jordan 11 lows, with everything from vibrant women's colorways to snakeskin editions releasing throughout the shoe's initial retro run. The first run of patent leather Air Jordan 11 lows also included a Zen Grey colorway that was exclusive to Nike Town locations nationwide. Following up the arrival of the Air Jordan 11 low in patent leather for the first time, the Jordan brand went back to its roots in 2003 with a retro release of the original Air Jordan 11 lows in the two original colorways we first saw back in 1996. Fast forward to 2006, the Jordan brand celebrated Michael's greatness and career milestones with a Defining Moments package, a two-shoe pack that included the white, black, metallic gold Air Jordan 11 alongside the Air Jordan 6. Since then, the Jordan brand has taken the holiday season in recent years to celebrate the classic model with a retro release of a classic mid-cut colorway each holiday season. Following a string of original colorways making their return, last holiday season saw the Jordan brand introduce a new colorway to the Air Jordan 11 Mid for the first time in Gamma Blue Edition. We've also seen both old and new colorways for the Air Jordan 11 Low, including the recently released Concord Edition, first worn by Michael during the Bulls' 1996 NBA Championship celebration parade. Looking towards the future, the Air Jordan 11 will look to remain the most iconic Air Jordan of all time, with a number of both old and new looks expected to release throughout 2014 and beyond.